I almost forgot to show you guys what I found this morning. See great white sharks in their natural habitat? It's awesome. This is for tourists. You really want to spend all day on a boat? I am going to take you to a place that no tourist would ever find in a million years. How did you even find out about this place? Let's go. A new deep water mystery unfolds in the thrilling shark infested adventure. 47 meters down, uncaged. I think the movie's really about sisterhood and, mm -hmm. and friendship, and you see these girls go through something that's so terrible and horrible, but you know, we kind of really come make it through, and I think you're rooting for us at the end, mm -hmm. which I hope everyone gets that. Yeah. I went in for like a fun time with going into like a shark movie, but then I, I walked away with like such a grander experience and something that was really kind of beautiful and also sort of exciting and the full female cast as well. It's a diverse film with four leading women mm -hmm. and it's thrilling, it's exciting, there's very high stakes and it's an adventure. You guys ready for this? It's a test of friendship, survival, mm -hmm. and yeah, I feel like there's all these amazing things, emotional relationships, and then the shark is kind of the cherry on top. <laughs> that's also a really cool part because it could just be something that's just trying to get jump scares. And you know, it's it's mm -hmm. more than that. And I, I really liked not only just the, because the set design really shows through in the film, mm -hmm. like just the attention to detail they did. It's really good. But also just like the family aspect, because I really liked that, the, the arc of the characters and redefining what family is. And uh, I liked that message. What is that? It's an emergency alarm. Can you feel that? And everyone has a lot to say about watching the original 47 Meters Down. I had seen it like a week just randomly on Netflix. I was with my sister and I saw it. I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. And a week later they call me and they asked me to audition. I was That's like, crazy. for sure, I want to do yeah. yeah. that. That's so yeah. cool. I remember that I had seen it when it had originally come out, but I remember I was sitting in a college lecture and I was waiting, I was watching the time and I was like, okay, my audition's in about 20 minutes and I'm watching the movie. <laughs> and I turn around and I just see like all these college kids like looking <laughs> above my shoulder, like watching what's happening. Yeah, I watched it about seven times before. <laughs> The first thing I did, because I hadn't seen the movie, so I watched it right away, and then I was like, oh my god, what am I about to do? <laughs> Relax. Tranquilo, okay? I met with Johannes for the callback, and he was very straightforward, didn't sugarcoat it with me. It was going to be challenging, but it was n n <laughs> far more challenging than I ever expected it to be. We overcame a lot, we learned a lot, challenged ourselves, and I'm very proud of what came out of it. Yeah, I was really in intrigued on, um, there's a specific scene that I knew that I was gonna film, which was like underwater music. Do you hear that? And I was just like, how? How? And then that got me to think of like underwater camera, underwater sound. So many like, things. I was right? like, dude, everything that I've done as an actor, I'm now gonna be able to do it underwater. Underwater like, talking. Underwater I didn't even talk. know about yeah, the, which, those kind yeah. of masks. Yeah. I thought like this, you know? So I was like, are we talking like this? Yeah, yeah. And the, yeah, that's. Yeah. But yeah, we found a mask, and that was just really, really, really cool. This place is a maze. We're going to die down here. Come on, come on. And filming the movie turned out to be an adventure like no other. I did not know how to swim before I signed on for the movie. I kind of lied <laughs> to the director when he asked me uh, what my swimming ability was like. But uh, I had about like three or four days to figure it out. And we all learned to scuba dive together and it was tough. But now I'm a great swimmer, so yep. that's all that matters. <laughs> We knew the gist of it, like the basic of it, but we didn't know that we have to deal with all the, the mechanics of it, the mm -hmm. trying to stay at the same level, trying to, you have to flush your mask. It, it says that you're underwater, but it doesn't say all the things you have to worry about. Yeah. And <laughs> even Sky the Skyping with the director, he said you'd only be under there for like, maybe really short days, because it's really exhausting. And I was like, oh, it's gonna be easy. 
Um, it was much harder, I think, than we all thought it was yeah. going to be. And we were there for maybe like five hours underwater, but the whole aspect of like waiting and while they changed the sets around, we had to still be in the tank physically. So it yeah. was very long and demanding days. Yeah. You can't choreograph the scene underwater, you gotta choreograph it out of water, but then once you get in water, it completely changes. Yeah, now there's like a tomb where you thought you were gonna be like Exactly, and it's like not there. Yeah. And then you're, you're surrounded by safety divers, camera crew, gaffers, grips, yeah. the guy who puts the broccoli in the water. It is very distracting. Yeah. But at the same time, we need each and every one of those people to of make course. this happen. So we have to focus and do our jobs also. It was so cool. They looked like um, underwater ninjas, honestly. Yeah, they, they had, did. Like, these, they had these like Seriously. black things, and like they were just they like, come in out the of back. nowhere yeah, and like help you. There was we all each had like one that was our, our helper. It was just so cool because they would disappear, and like you know they're there, and they come over and like talk in like sign language, pretty much. Like we yeah. all kind of use just universal gestures, like. You learn yeah, never to say and this because that, that means I need yeah, to go up. Yeah, this means go up. This yeah. means okay. So they're yeah. like, are you sure? You're like, yeah. no, 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 I'm no, no, okay. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we were just really, uh, they're talented. You know, so there's, a, there's a whole. We were lucky to have the best of the best. There was always a little bit of hesitation, I think, for me before I did everything, but I tried to get out of my head, and I think that's why it translated so well, is because everything we did, even every day, there's always just a little bit of, um, like that conscious, you're just like, mm -hmm. be careful, be safe, be safe. And then it kind of just emulated on screen. Yeah.